Hi, everybody. This will be your weekly update for LAR 120. Module 8 is posted below this video, and it is due Thursday, March 18th at midnight. Uh, I did not want to make anything due on St. Patrick's Day, so you get an extra day uh, the following week. And remember, nothing is due next week because it's spring break. Now, I will be traveling over spring break uh, with my son, and I'll probably only get to email once a day. So if it takes me a little bit longer, just be patient. I will get back in touch. But you've got a break, got all a spring break, no module due next week. And the following week, the module is due on Thursday. I did put a poll on the website based on last week's module about greenways. Again, there's no right or wrong answer to a poll. I just wanted to see where we stood as a class, and it turned out three of you would definitely put a greenway in your on your property. Six were a maybe, and one was a probably not. I would say on average our class is uh, more positive about greenways than the general public. Normally, if you go to put a greenway in, you're probably going to get a lot of initial opposition. I personally believe they increase the ability to walk and ride to destinations, also decrease crime in neighborhoods, and increase uh, potential revenue for tourism. And a lot of you indicated those uh, in some of your answers during uh, the, the transpor transportation module. So anyway, always interested to see what the class thinks, and I appreciate you uh, chiming in on that poll. There's also a new poll, because on March 22nd, that's a Monday, we will have movie night beginning at 6 p.m. and I'll have a location and we're gonna uh, as a class you're gonna vote you can do a little research and pick the movie you want to see the ones with the most votes win now this movie night is totally optional uh, because I realize some people took an online class because they can't be here in person or they live out of town or their schedule so busy time will permit but if you can make it come join us be a chance to watch a movie have some good discussion about sustainable development, both the movie and anything you want to talk about from class. And it'll be a chance just for us to meet face to face, uh, which is good. This week you have kind of a big module. I uh, just wanted to warn you, it's a, there's a chapter on green fabrics from the Skinny Streets text. There's two chapters from the Region A toolbox, one on open space and one on farmland preservation. And it, it's I think it's kind of a fun module. I also included some real data uh, from a small project on the Haywood campus talking about uh, green fabric. So uh, I'm hoping you will enjoy that as well. Uh, and as a way of introducing green fabrics, I thought I'd also show you another text, which is a great resource for me. I didn't require it for the class. And it's called Sustainable Urbanism, Urban Design with Nature by a gentleman named Douglas Far. And he opens his textbook with a quote from uh, Lewis Carroll, uh, Through the Looking Glass, from 1872. The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things, of shoes and ships and sealing wax, of cabbages and kings, why the sea is boiling hot, and whether pigs have wings. And so, and then he goes on to relate it to, has our lifestyle in the U.S. Um, reached a, I don't know if you want to call it a tipping point, another buzzword currently. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the United States. I love our high standard of living. Probably the luckiest event in my life was being born a citizen of the United States, and I mean that very, very sincerely. Uh, we have it incredibly well here. Um, and I think it's time for some changes, though, and I think we're going to have to change to preserve some of the fantastic natural resources we have here. But we can do it. Um, I, you know, I'm always one for solutions. How do we work together to make things better? It may change the way we do things, and I sure hope it does. It may change everything from the way we get to A to B um, to the types of food we have in the supermarkets. But uh, I think we can do it. Um, and, and I think many of you who go on to work in this field are going to be part of that solution as well. Um, and in the, in the modules, hopefully some things are starting to gel for you. We discussed transportation and design and housing and energy. And this week we talk about green fabrics. And I have uh, one real-world example uh, in the module from the Haywood Community College campus that I hope you'll find very interesting. 
uh, using some recent GIS software. Uh, so enjoy the module, and if you've got any questions, uh, again, let me know.